Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Chris Lukaup and as you have seen in the title, today's issue is sexing shrimp. We will focus on the genus Caridina, Neocaridina and Paracaridina. Those are the most widespread in the trade. They're all dwarf shrimp. So let's take a closer look. If you order shrimp online or you buy them at your local fish store, you never know if you get male and female. Of course, if you order just two, that is very probably very unlikely that you have male and female. Also because the people that work in this shop usually don't have the time to select for gender. But also shrimp are group animals. That means they do better in larger groups. So if you have an aquarium from 10 to 20, that would be the right uh, number to order or to buy. Shrimp are very social animals. That means of course they like to be in bigger groups. If you Go to the habitats like I have been to Taiwan, to China, Hong Kong, Indonesia. In the places where I looked for shrimp, I always found lots of them. So that's why in an aquarium you should have a bigger group. An advice that I can give you when you buy shrimp, uh, you should always, or you should, if possible, you should buy smaller ones. Why? Because they adapt better to the water and also because you have a longer time um, fun with these shrimp because usually shrimp don't get older than 1.5 to 2 years, especially dwarf shrimp. There is some exceptions. We know that Caridina mutidentata, the Amano shrimp, can live up to 10 years. But that is an exception. We have some cave shrimp that grow very old but they are not in the trade. So let's start with the females. If you look uh, at the basic anatomy of a shrimp we can see that it's split up in two parts. It's the anterior part that is here the antennas, the rostrum, the carapax and the walking legs. Here it's colored red and luckily I had a shrimp like that. And we have the posterior part that is colored white here that is the abdomen or many people call it abdomen. I would call it pleon because in my view and um, the view of science Abdomen is not correct because it has attached some swimmerets and um, an abdomen has nothing attached to it. If you see a spider has an abdomen because there's nothing on it. So correctly we would call it pleon. And here you can see why. Because the female is moving the swimmerets to bring oxygen to the eggs and also to clean them. The older a female gets, the more beefier she looks. And the reason they look beefier is that the whole body, uh, if you compare male and female, is a little bit more pulled down. The carapax is a little bit pulled more down, but especially the pleon is more pulled down. The reason for that is because the female has a belly bag where she carry the eggs and where she stores the eggs for a couple of weeks. And on this picture of a metallic shrimp that I got from a reader from Germany, you can see the six segments of the pleon. And especially the segment number one, two and three are much more pulled down than in the males. Another feature to find out if you have a male or a female is the presence of an X spot. This spot is located at the backside of the head, the, I would call it the neck. And this is the spot where the eggs are developed and you can see it here very well. This is a young female of a Neocaridina that still is on the way to develop, to be bigger. And same we have here with the green jade. But you already can see that the body, that especially the pleon, is pulling down. If you look at the males, everything seems to be a bit more simple. Usually they stay smaller than the females. Often it's like one third smaller in Caridina, Neocaridina and Paracaridina. The pleon or the backside of the body, it's much narrower because they don't have to carry eggs, they don't have belly bags. So that is the reason the males have a much smaller body, the whole, the whole shrimp seems much narrower and uh, of course the effect of being smaller and narrower, uh, they look much more fragile. And to show it more precise, I have this comparison, the females are up, the, the males are down, um, it's very simple to see body is more round and in the males is more flat. If you look at the Amano shrimp, of course we have the same features like uh, in the other shrimp that I have shown, the size, the belly bag, but there is one more feature we have to add here. In the males we have a 
pattern of points on the pleon versus in the females these points are merged to lines. In young Amano shrimp this will be more difficult to spot but the older the shrimp get the more easy it will be to distinguish between male and female. And usually at the end of the video come all this stuff with subscribe, uh, click a bell or whatever. If you like the video you will do it, if not I will not force you. I hope you had a good time. i see you at the next video.